Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So actually this morning, um, we're gonna be showing you some products that we got from Danko. So the other day we went out actually with um, Rico and he's the marketing manager of Danko. Correct. And slayed some fish. We did pretty good guys. So the, the day started off with some frustrations, some boat technical issues. Really it was a battery or charger issue. But needless to say, we went inshore. We overcame the weather, we overcame the boat obstacles, and we had a successful trip. And the bait obstacles, we did not, you talked about the rain already? Talk, I talked a little bit about yeah, the rain, yeah. We were delayed, we had the rain, bait problems, boat problems, but we still caught some fish, because that's what we do. But all in God's time, it worked. But he brought us a cool care package, this is not a paid plug. Uh, you guys know if you watch my channel for any length of time, we've been using Denko products for a long time. But let's jump right into it and talk about a couple of these products. Me and Chris are going to show you these. Um, one of the products that he dropped off was the six and a half inch aluminum pliers. What do you think about those? Well, first off, um, Josh deboed these. I wanted them, but he <laughs> took them. Actually, we bartered, so I'm not uh, too upset. But I think they're pretty nice. They're pretty sweet. It's got a nice uh, sheath on it. Let's uh, open them up and yeah. see what they're all about. Take a look. So he says I stole them, but I gave him the two hundred dollar gap in exchange for these these pliers. Now these pliers, let's he say, keeps bringing up this gap. <laughs> I'm gonna live, never live that down. Let's mind mind you this: these pliers were they run about seventy dollars retail. Yeah, I think they were seventy five bucks. So these are more their premium type pliers, guys. The reason being, obviously, is one of the um, things is they're very lightweight, but they're made of aluminum. Mm -hmm. So um, also the sheath, leather sheath. So very, very nice. But one of the things and the complaints that you might find a lot of is that a lot of these sheets and high qu quality sheets are made with a belt loop. This one actually has a clip. Yeah. What do you think about that? Well, I actually like the, the leather overall. We'll see how it stands up compared to the rubber one, that's for sure. But I'm not a belt loop kind of guy, so the clip is definitely the way to go. And one thing I actually liked about these compared to the ones that I, I have, yeah. which you guys will see, is this bungee. This is a... Uh, it's a simpler bungee. I don't like the coil bungees. I, f I find that they get tangled on, on hooks and just things that I'm trying to do. So I do like this more low pop, more low profile bungee, that's for sure. Yeah, and you get a lot of stretch out of that like he was showing you there. It's an elastic band. Yeah. So, But it's not the coil that gets caught up on everything. But you're going to find, I mean, it's got this teal lot that's popular these days in the marine industry. It's got some really nice sharp cutters, but aluminum pliers. And they're the lower uh, profile ones. They're, they're a lot smaller, being six and a half inches. So make sure you check these out. We got a lot of products to cover. One thing that I have to say about these, the six and a half guys, is as we all know, pliers are very famous for bending, whether you buy any brand. Um, but what Rico was telling us, if you get the longer ones, so the seven and a half, inch ones they tend to have more flex to them over time i bet you this six and a half is going to be a lot more sturdy you know it's yeah you know it's not going to bend as easily i would agree so guys check them out we'll leave the link down in the description again if you want to check them out uh, this may be a good option for you if you're looking for a new set of pliers but let's move it along i really like this set right here this is the roll up bag kit yeah so if you guys book a fishing charter and we catch some fish, which we will, and we got a fillet. This is what we're going to be using right here. That's right. Now, what's convenient about this, this comes with three different size knives, obviously. Now, what you have is the five inch flex knife, the seven inch flex knife, and a nine inch stout knife. But what's really cool about this is that Danko has went above and beyond, and they've showed you, or they've included or incorporated this bag here. So let's, let's put it together here real quick. Now, this is a big old knife. Now Rico did give us a rundown of this bag, but we're probably gonna mess it up regardless. Yeah, we probably will. But this is gonna be a great knife, guys, for your larger fish, cobia, uh, grouper, things like that. So I'll hand these off to Chris. He's gonna put them in the bag. This is gonna be the knife here uh, for your snapper, uh, smaller fish, man, uh, redfish, things like that, trout. So this is awesome. Now, the smallest of small, this is gonna be your bait knife, essentially. So if you're out there chopping up pilchards or doing whatever, pinfish, this is gonna be a great knife for that. But like I said, the convenience here of the, you know, 
the bag is what's really nice. Let's yeah. go ahead and show them how this works. One thing I gotta say, this is an updated knife. I've used this knife before, but this is definitely a, a new one, so that's pretty oh, cool. This one goes here, don't it? I think. Yeah, <laughs> see how it's larger. So the bag actually shows you guys where these knives are supposed to be placed. So I'm gonna put them in here, try not to take up too much of y'all's time. Now, while we're doing this, guys, uh, Rico is telling us that these knives in particular are all made out of German stainless steel. So German stainless steel stay sharper longer, um, and it's a much denser steel. Yeah, that's right. So if you're familiar, any you know, familiar with knives, the German steel is premium steel. So let's fold that baby up. So there's two different ways you could do it. So I guess this would be your main one, right? That's your main way. But what's neat is if you want to condense it down. This is all you have to do. I think you just roll yep, it, don't that's you? That's it. Yep, just like that. And then it has Velcro. It sticks right there. You gotta really pull, it looks like. Keep in mind, this is our first time doing this. Yeah, we, we have not played with this. This is just something that uh, he told us about, so. And we might have the knife orientation a little weird. No, no, that should work. There it is. So look how much more condensed that is. And you can put that in a smaller hatch or smaller area uh, in your boat. And it also, once you rinse them, it'll help keep um, out of the salt elements. So they'll last a lot longer. For sure. So the e Easter egg here too, we forgot to mention. Oh no, Never mind. we'll skip that part. Yeah, that'll be on the next uh, generation. Yeah, it's an updated bag. So on the updated bag, they're gonna be implementing a clear plastic area right here. So that way you could put your Ziploc bags in. So that way, when, whether you're doing a charter or if you're just going home to put them in a freezer, you always have your Ziploc bags and they don't get nasty. Yeah. Or whatever, or even a knife sharpener. All right, so very next thing guys, let's go move to an eight inch. This is their brand new Lunar series that we unveiled kind of at ICAST. Yeah, yeah, this is their new Lunar series. Uh, we're not too familiar with it. We're definitely going to put it to the test. It's still that same German. Uh, no, no, no. This no, is no. The, this is the yep. Swedish steel. See, correct me. So the German steel is the the other knives, which is going to be the premier knife. But this is still good. So the Swedish make a hell of a product, guys. But um, so what, what the Swedish steel is, he was explaining to us, is it's a very soft steel, so it's very easy to sharpen. It doesn't hold that uh, edge as long, but it's very easy to sharpen, and it's much more flexible. I think, flexible. Yeah, yeah, it's got a heck of a bend on this thing. So if you really want to get in there and flay those trout and things, uh, this would be a top uh, tier knife for that. You want me to take it out or just nah. keep moving? No, nah, we're gonna keep moving. So. We showed you the Primo pliers. Now, here are some of their new their, their new pliers. It has the Florida flag. What all about these? So, to my knowledge, this is the standard Danko aluminum plier. This is the seven and a half inch, which yep. I was explaining earlier. And then you get your rubber uh, sheath as well. But this is the bungee that I was talking about. I'm not too fond of it. Some people love it. It's just personal preference at the end of the day, but it does get the job done. Uh, Simple pliers, man. You got cutters, lightweight. One thing about the aluminum is they're lightweight. That's right. So if you get those stainless steel ones, they tend to be very, very heavy. But I do love the stainless steel ones, but the aluminum ones are definitely much nicer to wear. Yeah, stainless isn't going to bend as much. And the aluminum, though, is obviously a lot more corrosion resistant. Yeah, so the stainless one, guys, we like to keep those on the bow, like up on the dash. They last forever. They don't rust nearly as easy. But the aluminum ones are nice to wear. So one thing that we always talk about, guys, is catching bait out in the Tampa Bay and Sabikis. Didn't know this, but Denko actually makes a whole kit uh, for, it's called a Sabiki kit, essentially. Yeah, no, I think that's pretty cool, honestly. I mean, it has everything that you need. Uh, you, could, you can pull your bait off with the little um, uh, bait loops there. You got your bait sinkers, different hooks, and then an array of Sabiki rigs in general. So it's really neat, guys. If you're looking to catch a bunch of bait, this could be a good way, and it's uh, it's going to be cost effective, save you a lot of money. So how many times on the boat are we looking for dang uh, bait sinkers? Yeah, you're not lying. Seems like we're always looking for these dang bait sinkers because we just don't buy off a lot of them. We try to keep reusing the same ones, but they come there conveniently for you. So we got some shears, and guys, if you don't you know, use bait or whatever. I mean, if you cut bait, I highly suggest that you check out some of these Danko shears. What was nice about them is he said that 
they only run a retail about six dollars so they're not very profitable or anything but they they're just good to have guys so if you're looking to be able to cut your bait efficiently on the boat mm -hmm. this is a great option hey being guides and mates and everything all the above this will save your hand and everything you have to do as far as you know cutting on a um, a fillet board or whatever you want to call it a, a cutting board but these the definitely get you a pair get get you a couple they're affordable so put them on your boat it's a little safer too and i think it's just more efficient yeah all right last but not least what we're going to show you today back to the lunar series this is the seven and a half inch plier and these are brand new guys um, i've never even used them so i don't want to tell you too much about them but they have a dual molded grip uh, stainless steel jaw so they're going to be very strong I like that black and orange aesthetically they look very nice and then they have a very high quality sheath but it does have a belt loop so if you for all you yacht guys yeah. all you guys that wear i know uh, there's still tons of people out there that wear belts fishing now i am not one of them but hey the lunar series is definitely going to be for you because all the sheaths come belt ready yeah yeah now these are nice guys so i mean if you want to check them out all the link or the link for danko will be down in the description Make sure you definitely do that. And uh, make sure you give a thumbs up and comment below. Are you using Danko products? I think every fisherman out there probably has a pair of Danko pliers. You and know, if you don't, you need to get them. And the thing is, after talking to Rika, I was really surprised at how much Danko actually makes. Yeah. And they go far beyond even fishing products. They just, they make all kinds of things. So check them out, guys. Make sure you give a like, follow, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, we'll see you on the water. See you guys.